generosity, Marines have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947. Month's salute to service and today we're at the Medina County Veterans Memorial Hall for what the American Legion here calls lunch with the vets. We've got several different ver veterans from various uh, places around the county that have joined us for lunch. Most of them are seniors residing in some type of senior facility and we're hoping to get some interviews and talk to a few of them today. So what branch of service were you in? I was in the, the Army. In the Army? Yes. And what did you do in the Army, John? I, I drove a uh, truck, and I was in some special forces for a short time. Which, uh, which, uh, when did you serve? Uh, during uh, 53 to 55. Were you over in Korea? Uh, no, I didn't, didn't go in country. They were already in the tent over there drawing the ceasefire on the 38th parallel. Okay. So where did you serve at? I served uh, in, uh, in country. I served uh, in C Company A uh, air f air aircraft battery. Okay. All right. So you were an anti-aircraft, anti-aircraft yes, artillery yes, kind of. Yeah, yes, I was. Any any memorable experiences you want to share with our viewers out there? Well, one embarrassing one, but I mean that was then and this is now. But uh, I was in the special services. We would uh, r raise flags every day on the post, and uh, one day, I mean, it was spit and polish. You had uh, three pairs of shoes. You had plenty of pleats, you know, and we used to give. Uh, demonstrations at the county fairs for the army and so on and so forth. And one day I slept in and didn't raise the flag. Oh. And I got back to the barracks and uh, the CO called me and he says, you're, you're done white, pack your bags. So I had to give up that great, great service. Well, if you had to do it all over again, would you do it again? Yes, I would. I, I'd stand up for it. My father did. and. First World War, my brother in the Second World War, uh, both my brothers, and I, uh, I would too. What, what's your name, sir? Dimitri Mackin. Mackin? Mackin. Which yeah. branch of service? Uh, Marine Corps, Fourth Mar Fourth Division. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I think I might be one of the oldest guys here. Probably will not be the another party like this. I'll be 98 in the next week. 98 years old. Yeah. So World War II? Yes. Where'd you serve at? Uh, Saipan, Okinawa, uh, Tinian, uh, China, and uh, the most time we spent was occupation force in China in the last five months, and the war ended uh, on, Oak, on, uh, on uh, Iwo Jima and uh, all that. Uh, the group I was with, uh, I've got to go home after that. And I bet you're pretty happy to go home. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah? So, so how long were you in the service for? The what? How long were you in the service for? Oh, from 41 to 46. So four, 46? 40 years. In, in, in any memorable moments about it, uh, good or bad? I'm lucky I can. I'm lucky I missed the Iwo Jima. I just managed to be set aside because I had an eye infection. Well, Tinian wasn't much better than Iwo Jima from what uh, I, I recall. Well, that's true, that's true. They were all bad ones, but the, they mm -hmm. say the way it went, you could hardly pick out what you want. There's so many guys served with the fourth division as I was with. So, so if, you had, if you had to do it all over again, would you do it again? <laughs> oh yes, I volunteered when I was 21. Well, I want to thank you for your service, and, and I appreciate you talking to me for a few thank minutes you today. For, thank, thank you. you. For taking my Semper Fi, right? Semper Fi. All right. Thank well, you, sir. What rank? Uh, Staff Sergeant, Army. Army? Who? Uh, First Engineer, Special Brigade, 286 Joint Assault Signal Company. And when did you serve? What uh, years? 44 to 46. World War II? World War II. Whereabouts? Uh, well, that's the interesting part. I, I, never, I was always getting ready, never did anything. But I was a proud member of that group. There you go. Uh, the 286 made five invasions. North Africa, Sicily, Salerno, Anzio, and Normandy, without ever a break. But they took in 603 men 
into Normandy, and they brought back 187. Holy cow. I was one of the replacements, but I was proud to be a replacement in that unit. So how many days after D-Day did you get over there? Uh, I never... Oh, you I never went? Never. I was... Uh, we were just loading up to go to Operation Olympic and Cornet, which was the invasion of Japan proper. Oh, okay. This unit provided all the communications on the beach, from all the communications for the beach master uh, to the uh, short, short way to the White House, mm -hmm. uh, every bit of it. Wow. Uh, we, had, we had Navy, Air Corps, and Army all in the same unit. So how, how many years total were you in the service? Just two. Just two? Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it was a very proud unit. And those 187 that came back, those guys were real heroes. Yeah. So if you had to do it all over again, would you join the service again? Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. Well, I appreciate you talking to me for a few minutes. And thank okay. you for your service, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What, uh, what years did you serve in the service, sir? From 57 to 60. And where at? Bermuda. Bermuda? Oh, yeah. Well, that had to be hard duty. That battle of Bermuda was hell. Yeah? Those tourists, let me tell you. Uh, in fact, I married one. It was so bad. <laughs> and, and you, sir, where, when did you serve? From 54 to 56. Where at? <clears throat> Fort, Fort Eustis, Virginia, and uh, uh, Goose Bay, Labrador. You never went to Bermuda? No, I never <laughs> went to Bermuda. <laughs> Any memorable moments uh, while you were in the service you want to share with us? Well, out of a four-year hitch, I served two years, 11 months, and 28 days. Okay. Uh, at the convenience of the Air Force, frozen in critical uh, career field. Frozen in Bermuda, right? Yep. Uh, crew to KC-97. Okay. And nobody was getting any promotion, so we got out. There you go. Uh, would you do it all over again if you had a chance to? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. And you, sir, um, any memorable moments you want to share with us? Not really. Uh, I was in, trans in the transportation, so. Proud to serve, though, right? Yes. Would I, you do it all over again if you had a chance? Probably. All right, here I am with Mr. Yeah. Dave Jacobs. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing well, thanks. And you are an Army veteran? Yes, sir. All right. So tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. Uh, we've got different veterans here from the uh, nursing homes and assisted living. Uh, to, uh, we're treating them to a lunch and trying to get a little bit of their history and uh, just to have some fellowship with them and get them out and let them reminisce with each other. Whose idea was this? Uh, it's the uh, American Legion 202. I believe it's called the Home Court. Okay. And I was asked to help. They needed some help, so I got a call from one of them and they asked it I said by all means I'll be there so it's kind of like you're still serving a little bit right yes so so tell me a little bit about uh, when you were in the army when were you in uh, I was in twice I was in once from 67 to 70 and then from 83 to 88 uh, first time I was a supply sergeant second time I was a uh, the recovery specialist in uh, field artillery unit you know, yeah. what they, you know what they call people that get out and go back in, don't you? Stupid. <laughs> I wasn't going to. You said it. I wasn't going to. <laughs> well, the recession hit, and I lost my job, so I kind of had to. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, so tell me anything anything memorable from being in, uh, in the Army that you can tell me on TV? <laughs> well, uh, in Vietnam, there, you make a lot of friendships that you just don't ever forget. Uh, it's amazing how many times you think of the guys that you were friends right. with, but you don't ever see again. And uh, the same way, basically, with the second time I was in, I was in Germany most of the time, and some of the friendships made were just, you know, they're lasting. You don't right. ever, you don't ever get over them. Well, I want to thank you for your service, and I want to thank you for still serving and helping out some of these vets today, so they get a nice lunch. No, well, thank you, and you're quite welcome. Thanks, Dave. When did you serve? 1942 to 1945. Where at? Uh, Hawaii and Midway Islands. Midway Islands, okay. And I see he's on. he was on the USS Midway. He's got a Midway hat over there. Yeah, but not, in, not in those days. Not in those days, I'm sure, yeah. I was in a Marine Corps dive bombing squadron. So were you a pilot or? No, I was no. a plane captain. Okay. Mechanic. 
Oh, okay. So like a crew chief kind of thing. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Any memorable moments while you're on, what were you on an aircraft carrier? Or? Yeah, I went over on an aircraft Which carrier. Which one? In Nassau. And anything, anything happen over there? Or? Well, I got missed getting hit by an airplane with a, that landed wheels up on a depth charge well, that's not good. with nitroglycerin in it. And I got missed by a PBJ, which is a B-25. And I, uh, one of the planes I had uh, was going too fast and he rammed the airplane right next to me. Oh, that's not good. And I saw an Army P-47 in a dive, and the wings snapped off. So how long were you in the service? 17 months. 17 months. If you had to do it all over again, would you do it again? Yes, I would. Well, I want to thank you for uh, spending a couple moments with me and uh, talking on Salute to Service, and thank you for your service. And I understand you're going to have a birthday, 97 years old. I just want to say happy birthday. Thank you. Semper Fi, right? Se well, that's what they say. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> i got another version of uh, it. <laughs> we won't say it at this time. All right. I appreciate that. You have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I mean, what service did you serve in? Army. Army. You were, I noticed you got a hat there. It says 11th ACR, yeah, right? Yeah, it was an 11th Armored Cab. Stationed in Germany for 20 months on, in Bavaria on a German Czech border, and we'd patrol one way, and the Czechs would patrol the other way. And we'd walk by them, they'd walk by us, and we'd say, Hi, how are you? Yep. you know, and all that. They didn't want to be there just like we didn't want to be there. So, what was your most memorable moment in Germany, other than the fraud lines in the beer? <laughs> it was just about all of the. Well, I, well no, that. I was going to say going to the Oktoberfest in Munich. Well, that's the fraud lines in the beer, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I guess just the uh, seeing the countryside and the people and uh, uh, just kind of protecting everybody. And, uh, when were you over? And Go ahead. Nothing really out of the ordinary. When were you over there? 1958. Well, actually, 1959 and 60. Okay, so you were there right before they built the Berlin Wall then, Well, right? actually, uh, no, I was there after the Berlin Wall. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, one thing, when I got to Bremerhaven, they took us down to Regensburg on a train, and uh, it was the day before Khrushchev indicated he was going to come across the border if the Allies didn't get out of Berlin. Right. And that night, the green troops just got there. We went into this big hall, and the commanding officer stood up, and he said, if the, if the flag goes up, and they, if the balloon goes up, and they come across the border, he says, 85% of this outfit will be wiped out. The other 15% are on leave somewhere in Europe, and we can't find them. That was there the most you, memorable yeah. moment. There you go. There you go. Green troops scared to death. So if you had to do it all over again, would you do it? Absolutely. What did you do? What did you do? What was your job in the Army? Pardon me? What was your job in the Army? What was your job? What did you do? Oh, well, I was a couple of things. I was on a rifle team, and then I ended up driving a tank. Okay. All right. Very cool. All right, well, I want to thank you for uh, spending a couple of moments with me and coming on Salute to Service. Well, thank you for so, having us. And when I turn the camera off, we can talk about the fraud lines and the beer, okay? I'll drink today. All right, thank you, sir.
If you want him, here's my list. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots. guys I got in here? One, two, three. How many Marines? Do I get a hoo or anything? <laughs> How many Air Force? Quite a few Air Force. Coast Guard? Got two Coast Guard? All right. So all the rest of the good looking ones are all Army guys, right? <laughs> so I know, I recognize quite a few faces out there. My name is Ed Zachary. I'm the director of the Medina County Veterans Service Office. And basically what we do is we try to file benefits for our veterans uh, for any kind of compensation, pensions, claims, health care, just about anything that we could try to do for them. Uh, we are not the Department of Veterans Affairs. We're kind of the go-between between, between the veteran and the Department of Veterans Affairs at the federal level. We are a county office. Um, so if you pay taxes in Medina County, um, you help pay our salary and run our office, and we appreciate that. Every county in the state of Ohio has an office like mine. Um, how many folks in here, just out of curiosity, are on some kind of veterans benefit, pension, anything like that? Quite a few of you, okay, all right. So um, even if you're living in, a, in some kind of assisted living or a nursing home or something like that, there's still benefits that could be available to you. Um, some of those could be non-service connected pensions, which sometimes can help you uh, pay some of your bills. Um, sometimes it's just a little added bonus on top of that $50 that you may be allowed to keep from Social Security. Um, sometimes it could be prescriptions uh, from the VA if you're enrolled in their health care system. Um, so there are several benefits out there that, that could still help you or possibly a family member in the future, a, a spouse or something like that. Um, I don't want to get in and, and give you this long speech about uh, VA benefits. I could stand up here and talk all day about that. Uh, so what I do want to do is if, if you are interested, where's Jen at? Jenna? So Jenna Sloniker, uh, she works in our office. She's one of our service officers. And I'm sure you'd much rather talk to her than me because she's a lot nicer than I am. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let her know. Raise your hand and we'll give you an information pamphlet. We'll help you fill it out. And then we can contact you at a future date. We'll come out and and meet with you and sit down and talk about those benefits that you may or may not be eligible for. So if anybody's interested in that at this time, just go ahead and raise your hand and we'll give you the pamphlet. All right, does any, keep your hands up for a few minutes as she's walking around. She's going to walk around and, and pass those out. Does anybody have any questions that they want to bring up um, at this point and ask that we could answer maybe right on the spot? Yeah. Ed, how about uh, bus passes? I'm trying to get my bus pass now that I'm in assisted living. It's a little different than when I was in my own residence. So, so we recently uh, changed the law here in Medina County where you can ride the Medina County Transit if you are a veteran for free. You do have to have the Medina County Veterans ID card. They are available at the county recorder's office. So you have to take your discharge down to the recorder's office, record that discharge get the ID card, and then that transit system here in Medina will take you wherever you want for, for no cost at all. So that's what you need. you got to get that ID card, though. Yes, sir? Then you can go with this? You can. They do have wheelchair accessible vans. So, yes, the Medina County Transit will transit. They only take you throughout the county, though. Uh, the transit system does not go out of the county that I know of. Yes, sir? The grant system, the program is under a grant that expires December 31st. What's the prospect of it being renewed? I, I would say at this point right now, it's not, it's not really a grant. It's actually coming out of our budget. Um, the commissioners are going to look at all the numbers um, and see if it's worth the, the time and effort and a while to do that. Because there were several other entities that were paying for transit already. I would say that the odds are pretty good that it's going to continue in the future, but I can't say yes or no at this point. Any other questions? Yes, Joe. Diane. Yeah, so if they don't have their county ID card now, but they don't have a way to get to the administration building right. to get it, is there a way we can get them there? So they would have to pay for the transit ride at this point. Without that ID, the, the 
we won't pay for the ride. So they got to get there to get the ID card. I'm sure that some of the homes they live in and everything can help them get down there and get that ID card. Um, no, not anymore. No. Yes, sir. I've got a Richland County uh, recorder ID card. Can I show that to get them a dialogue? Unfortunately, no. you got to have the county ID card for our transit. Yeah. I thought maybe we could get one of the Medina one sure. by showing the Richland County. Oh. No, you got you got to record your discharge here in Medina County. Uh, recorded in Lucas and Richland mm -hmm. County both. Yeah, I, I'm I'm sorry. The, the way the way we uh, we wrote the law into place was you have to have the ID card from the county that the transit systems in. It's a very easy process, believe me. It is very very easy. Yes, it, yes, sir. How do I go about getting a copy of my DD two fourteen? So you can come into our office and we can request one for you. Typically it takes about six weeks for them to mail you a registered copy. Did you ever record it anywhere at all? I don't think so. Okay. So if you never recorded it, then we'll, we'll request it from the archives and uh, we'll get you a true and original copy. And then you could take that copy down and get the ID card. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move, so I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Hi, I'm Ed Zachary, Director and Service Officer for the Medina County Veterans Service Office. If you're a veteran or a widow of a veteran and you need assistance in filing a claim with the Department of Veterans Affairs, give us a call, 1-844-722-3800. That's 1-844-722-3800.